Updated July 23, 2018 7 hours 14 minutes and 38 seconds in 2005 a 20-year-old Benji Marshall emerged as one of the NRL's brightest talents. Lighting up the league with his playmaking skills including chip kicks, no-look flick passes and the iconic sidestep. Shaking off the injuries which derailed his previous year at the club, Marshall led the West Tigers to their only ever NRL title. Thirteen years later, the New Zealand international is back at his beloved childhood club as a veteran of 15 NRL seasons, and he's now looking to guide the Tigers back to the finals after a seven-year absence. The Tigers enjoyed a promising start to the season but hit a rough patch in round 7, winning just two games in 10 outings. But back-to-back -back wins over the high-flying Dragons and Rabbitohs has breathed new life into West's finals chances and Marshall says they now need to work on being consistent. When we play teams that are lower than us our attitude has to be the same as when we play teams above us, he said. The Tigers' win over South Sydney sees them sitting in ninth place, four points adrift from the finals places, and with only six rounds the team can't afford any more lapses. This week's going to be a really big test for us in terms of how much we want to be in the semi-finals and how much we want to perform, and if we can't turn up this week and bring the same attitude defensively that we did against South Sydney then we don't deserve to make it, he said, we're a pretty young team and we're growing and learning a lot this season but it's up to us where we want to end up, and we need to bring the right attitude, changing of the guard the Tigers were one of the NRL's youngest teams in 2017 and after the departures of Aaron Woods, James Tedesco and Matt Ballon at the end of the season, coach Ivan Cleary found himself drastically short of experience in the locker room. Cleary turned to club talisman Marshall to fill the leadership vacuum, signing the 33-year-old both as cover for inexperienced halves pairing Josh Reynolds and Luke Brooks but also as a mentor for the rising stars. My role has definitely changed within the team, becoming more of a leader and as much as it's not as spectacular and might not seem that important, I'm really enjoying it, Marshall said, I feel like I've found a good balance of knowing what the team needs and being a calming influence on the young guys around us. It wasn't long before Marshall found himself back in the starting lineup following a string of injuries to Reynolds. He said that once he had stepped back out onto Leichhardt Oval, he recognized his limitations and had to adapt the flamboyant play style that made him the face of the game ten years ago. The first part of embracing the change is to realize and acknowledge that I can't do the same things that I used to do back in the day, but try to contribute in a different way. NRL Swansong now in the twilight of his rugby league career, the veteran playmaker has spoken previously as treating 2018 as his NRL Swansong, but he admits he doesn't. Known what the future holds after the season ends, there's a lot of things to weigh up, I might play again next year, but that might not be my decision now depending on my body and depending on what the club wants to do, he said, I am doing a little bit of development training at the moment so maybe do a bit of that with the young halves in the future, but whatever it is I'm very fortunate for the opportunities the rugby league has given me. Topics, rugby league, sport, Australia first posted July 23, 2018 5 hours 4 minutes and 6 seconds.